Okay folks, so um, in this series of tutorials I'm going to show you how to design a uh, magazine cover for Raygun, which was David Carson's magazine back in the 90s and also as well as a cover or covers um, also a double um, page spread for the interior of the of the magazine so David Carson um, so we're going to very quickly look at his style um, if you go to his website davidcarsondesign.com um, really cool website you can see that he's, 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 he's being a bit different already by going by scrolling when you when you scroll with a wheel on your mouse you scroll right um, I think you can move with the arrows as well maybe um, maybe not oh there we go so there's a little arrow that you click down it to go to the next page um, so if you scroll along we see some of his work so his work um, he has got a very distinctive style um, he would probably say he doesn't have a style but you can see it's kind of things broken apart the text is broken apart um, sometimes a lot going on um, sometimes um, very little going on um, you can see this obviously the work on the right here for global sea skins wetsuits is very typographical not a lot of image and then you've also got things that are kind of hand ripped torn um, photographs involved in there as well the text is always very interesting broken apart sometimes difficult to read um, but that's part of that's part of your style um, things get chopped up photographs images get chopped up text gets chopped up as well so he's got a, quite a distinctive style lots of marker pen maybe sometimes and drawing and, and lines over the top and sometimes he uses paint and collage um, you can see here that you know that the image is just kind of this guy's kind of just peering out from behind the text um, so some you know really really interesting really really uh, nice work um, so you're gonna have a go at producing some David Carson style um, style work so we're gonna be looking at a magazine called Ray Gun which is a, a rock and roll magazine uh, which ran from 1992 to 2000 and David Carson was the art director um, for the magazine lots of the contributors but he, he was kind of the main the main kind of guide and the main uh, the main force behind the magazine you can see from the covers again this style where text is kind of ripped up and things are drawn on and things are out of focus and text is stacked up on each other and broken apart and it's a real uh, there's always a lot going on it's a real kind of busy kind of style which kind of really pushes the boundaries um, of, of legibility being able to read it sometimes as well so um, we've got some um, examples here of covers Reagan magazine always obviously has the title um, there wasn't really one type um, style that that stuck you can see the Reagan here at the top left is different to the style of text to the the font that was used on other um, issues um, there's always a barcode there on the front part of the front cover um, sometimes there's text talking about who's in the magazine sometimes there isn't it's just the issue number um, sometimes there's quite a bit of text quite a lot of text and sometimes there's none so there's no kind of you know the, the point is there aren't any rules um, you know David Carson's style is all about breaking rules see some more examples quite a famous cover with Damon Albarn if you know the band Blur on there blah 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 um, you can see this probably this you know quite a lot of this probably hand hand done cut out maybe use Photoshop maybe illustrate a little bit this kind of self-portrait here on the left 
uh, it's, it's one of his book covers this uses you can see shapes rectangles these kind of crosses plus signs um, letters different colors quite vivid they're on black and white um, this cover on the right for Oasis I mean you can only just read that Oasis this is a cover for a band and there's a band on the cover of the magazine this kind of spray painted image again probably done by hand scanned in uh, text is kind of chopped up and a bit rough in places and things have been scribbled over the top of it and it's kind of been eaten away slightly as though it's been printed and worn um, <clears throat> this cover very text heavy um, lots of bands in that in that issue so their band names are on the front cover there but again the text is very kind of disjointed and broken up and worn away and uh, it's got that kind of vintage feel to it you've got the word ray gun the title is even the title um, is subjected to some kind of chopping of the letters you can obviously the ray gut like the U and the ends on the second line but it's still it's still readable there's a photograph behind there he tends to kind of use you know sometimes put the text on top of photographs to hide them there's a there's a um, double page spread here you can see how he sometimes you use text the title again the word independence is broken up into independence um, two different type faces there two different fonts used the word day spun around you've got this kind of shape here as well like a bullet kind of shape and then the text is kind of squashed together again rules are broken there's no space between the the columns of text is used different type um, different weights of text as well by the looks of it this is this is kind of like a gray faint of gray so maybe that's a lighter text um, and maybe the other text is bold or maybe the text is smaller and this is heavier or larger point size and then we've got the photograph on the right side which dominates the right hand kind of page there and some more examples I won't go to, through those in too much detail but you can use those to kind of get some some ideas and you know, this one in particular with a very large image and the word fan kind of broken up across the double page spread because obviously imagine there's the, the fold of the page down the center you can see on these two examples here where the fold is so it does run blocks sometimes and text across the spine at the center of the magazine big text is a, fa is a fan of and these kind of asterisk shapes dingbats they're called used as well you know the, again images are behind the text so we're going to try and create or well, you're going to try and create your own cover so I've had to go at creating a cover so um, this is my kind of first attempt we're going to use some of the photographs that you have taken and collected already so we're going to use the cell portraits probably and we're going to use some of your your uh, shape straight pattern straight textures that you've got as well maybe in a combination of the two so first of all um, I'm going to start with just breaking my this, this apart um, and I'm just going to show you how you know how I how I kind of piece this how I piece this together Oops. and we'll start with the uh, the, the image uh, just break that apart so you can see there's quite a, a lot of constituent pieces to make up this um, I've got a, a barcode there as well which I'm just going to group together so first of all so first of all um, you need to draw uh, first of all you're going to set up your page sorry so this is going to is going to be an A3 page when you set up your page go to design slide size custom slide size and you want to go to custom and select A3 but um, the size of a piece of A3 is 420 by 297 now it adjusts this down um, probably to leave a border so we're going to readjust that so the width is 42 centimeters and the height is 
1.7 so that gives us the right size page I'm just going to click OK my page does nothing because that mine was that page that size already first thing I'm going to do is insert a, uh, a rectangle and double click on it and then we're going to go to the size of the rectangle and the height of the rectangle is 229.7 and the width is going to be 21 now that's an A4 page and then I'm going to push it into the middle of the page there double click on it shape fill is going to be none no fill shape outline is going to be going to be uh, for now it's going to be black so there we go so that's our magazine front cover now Reagan magazine was, was wasn't A4 it was a bit bigger than A4 but obviously when we when we get when we get to school we can't print out on anything bigger than A3 so we're going to stick to A4 and A3 um, to help us so I've got my A4 rectangle next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into my um, <coughs> my folder in OneDrive here's where I store my images I'm going to click on my image that I want right click copy image into PowerPoint right click make sure you um, select the pick paste picture icon and there we go and then I'm going to resize that to fit my rectangle now um this this style that we're going to be working with today David Carson his style it's all about trial and error and it's all about kind of just 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 going with things and um, things might happen accidentally and we're not going to kind of spend too much time aligning things we're not going to we're not going to use any grids we're not going to uh, align left or align right or we're not going to, we're not going to concentrate on that too much um, we're just going to kind of just just see what happens okay we're just going to see what happens on the page move things around slightly but we are going to look at you know we're going to we're going to try and get a nice balanced image but we're not going to worry too much about that so first of all when i put my image on the page you can see that i've got a white um, gap at the bottom i could stretch my image out but i'm not going to so i'm quite happy with that there's a white bar there in fact and um, i could even make the image slightly smaller so there's a white line down the side here so i'm deliberately kind of creating the effect that, that there is a kind of a almost a, a mistake or a misprint I could push it down so there's a whiteboard at the top as well um, I wasn't happy with the color so I double click on it I'm going to go to corrections and I was just gonna I, I was just playing around with the different colors um, I noticed that <clears throat> on one of the covers if we go to Reagan on the David Bowie issue the Jane's Addiction issue here and the the, the Perry Farrell issue here on the left that kind of blue that nice blue color so I quite liked that so um, what I did was I adjusted with corrections and color um, and made my image uh, that blue you can see that's all I did to it now it seems to me that if you look at the covers most of the images most of the photographs it tends not to do much to the photographs um, they may be tweaked but they almost look like they've just been taken and left alone so I'm not going to put any effects on the photo I'm not going to play around with it too much so I'm just going to use the photo um, <clears throat> I'm just going to change the color to that cool kind of blue color but you can do whatever you whatever you like okay um, the next element we're going to bring in is, is, is the text now we're going to look at some fonts and I want you to try and I want you to, to use these fonts um, choosing the right fonts is, 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 is very important Reagan um, kind of the image of Reagan being this kind of like grungy kind of rock magazine um, you can see that the the, 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 um, the, the fonts used were quite modern Sometimes they're quite loose in the fact they look like they've been hand drawn, um, but they, they they did have a modern feel to them, and, and in, especially in the ones here, look, uh, this this typeface here, it's sans serif, quite modern looking. So we're going to use we're going to use three four typefaces. So the main typeface I want you to use is called A I G D T. A I G D T. A second option would be a rater. STD stands for standard, so a rater standard. There's also um, 
TXT, text TXT. There's also GDT, and we're also going to use Bell Gothic standard as well. If you haven't got these fonts, if you can find something close, that's that's fine. But you should, I would have thought you should have these fonts in, in in PowerPoint if you download PowerPoint. Okay, so um, A A I G T A I G T T, Arata standard, text TXT and GDT, and Bell Gothic um, standard. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, type out the word Reagan, which I've done here. It's going to be all capitals. Um, I'm just going to my image because I brought that in after the text. So I'm just going to send that to back. So right click center back. And first of all, I'm just going to play around with with the text. First of all, I'm going to play around with this idea that um, the text is very big. It won't fit on the page. So if I hit enter and justify left, oops, then we can see that I'm kind of I'm going to use that kind of idea that the text is broken up, same on, as, as on this this kind of issue here. Um, I don't like the gap between the, the reg and the un, so I'm going to what I'm going to do is select the un, and I'm going to copy it out so it's separate. And make it the same size, which is 199. And then I'm going to delete the U, U, U and the N. And then obviously that gives me a separate UN, and I can obviously play around with that. Now the idea is that there aren't any rules, so you know I could push that the UN so it overlaps the A slightly. Um, so it's under the R. I don't like that too much. I could push it slightly to the left. Let's zoom in so we can see what I'm doing. So you know, play around. It's it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be almost cut and paste, very rough. Um, I quite like using cursor keys. I quite like that, where slightly to the left, but the U is kind of part of the R now, and the N is part of the A. Okay, so I've got my first element in place, which is the title at the top of the page. Naturally, for a magazine, it's on a rack. I want to see the title at the top. Um, second is the uh, the issue, so I'm going to make the issue number, again I've typed out the word issue number one, um, I'm going to make this smaller, so this, this is Bell Gothic standard, and then I'm going to incorporate that somewhere at the top here, again we're going to break the rules, so this time the word issue number one, I'm going to push it right to the edge of the page. So this is, this is one occasion where you'll hear me say that you can push things to the edge of the page and it doesn't matter. So you don't have to leave a 5 mil gap all the way around. So no breathing space for the text. So we're really, we're really kind of pushing it here. Um, we are breaking those rules. I, I've put that there quite randomly and I actually quite like it. quite like the balance of that. So that's working well so far. So um, that's pretty much my text apart from I'm going to put a, a name on the front. I've, I've just used my name, my surname. You could use the name of the band um, that you did for your album cover. So we'll, you know we might tie this in with your album cover. But I've used my my name. It's in a much lighter, much lighter font. Um, you are going to have to be careful in some respects as to where you put the text because obviously if I put that onto the black top of my my T-shirt, then I'm going to lose that text. And although David Carson isn't all about legibility, we, you know, I do, I do kind of want to, I want to read it. It's on the front of the magazine, so I'm going to push it down though, so that the N, you can, you know, the end, the black of the end is lost now. But I can still see that's west to R, and I know that that shape there is going to form an N. So my brain will fill in the gaps, and I can still read it. Um, you can see that obviously I've pushed it onto one line. You, you don't have to. You could, you could just go across. Um, I could I could put it into white there and have it at the bottom. I could change the text. Okay. Um, it could be centered. It doesn't have to be centered. It could be slightly off the side. Um, 
but what I, you know what I will be looking for <clears throat> is that you've kind of used the his you know this David Carson style and, and, and the Reagan style where you know bits of text disappear bits of text you know for instance if I push that right down to there like that again you can still tell you can still read that even though the bottom of the text is missing and the, the, the w is missing as well but i can still read it it's still legible in fact i quite like that so i'm going to leave that there